Hello YouTube, this is Yamakar coming back with an episode of How to Dyson Sphere 101. Um, when I first made my first Dyson Sphere, it was a little bit confusing uh, because there's a couple of requirements kind of to get it all going. So if you're struggling to get your Dyson Sphere up and running, uh, this video will definitely help you so you can get to the stage where I am where you can start constructing it and uh, go from there. So without further ado, without further ado, Step number one to constructing your Dyson Sphere would be unlocking the proper technology, of course. Um, so I'm going to assume that you've been firing your solar sails and building a Dyson Swarm, which you don't need to have been making a Dyson Swarm yet, but you have the technology unlocked. Then you also have the Ray Receiver, which can receive the power back. You don't need it, but uh, very good to have. High strength, lightweight structure, which is actually needed to build a Dyson Sphere. So these are the components to build it and your vertical launch silo. Your vertical launch silo is actually how you will send your parts up to make the Dyson Sphere itself. So those are the requirements to have your Dyson Sphere start launching. So you've unlocked your basic technology and now you're wondering how to actually build your Dyson Sphere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the Dyson Sphere panel here by pressing either clicking the button or pressing Y. And then we're going to come up to this screen here. So Dyson Sphere. Every system is going to have its own Dyson Sphere. So you can build them in multiple systems. Uh, you're going to have your Dyson Swarm, which you can pretty easily edit. Um, and this video is not about that. You can just change it like that, make it however big you want, and etc. Easy done. And then you can set your guns to shoot to that specific Dyson Swarm. Um, we're going to leave this. You don't really have to do much with it. You can just leave it as is. But we're going to go to the Dyson Shell itself. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer. And we'll show you how to build one from scratch. So you can adjust the size of it, you can adjust the inclination of it and the longitude of it. Um, that's gonna change where your core structure is. So we build it like that and then we click on our shell itself. Now, when you start building your first ever Dyson sphere or shell, you're gonna notice there's only a, one little line in the middle. You're not gonna have all these extra zones on the top here. So you can only do this for now. So what you're doing is you're placing the core structures where the solar panels were built off of and you can connect them together and you'll notice you have this little ring here so that's the first step of the ring and you can build like this too you can space it out however you want there's advantages and disadvantages of making it really far apart or really close together and you can go all the way around but you actually don't have to go all the way around if you just build a few nodes they will build just those nodes and it will still float it won't crash in the sun everything will be fine so good you got your first couple nodes up and running now you're kind of curious as to how come you can't build actually solar panels. What actually has to happen is you need to start unlocking the Dyson Sphere stress system. There's multiple levels to this. You get level one, two, three. I'm on level four or level three myself researching level four. Um, pretty expensive. And what each one of those layers does, each one of those layers allows you to build higher and higher and higher. So right now you can only build a center line, but after you'll start be able to build higher lines, you can do this. And now you have a area where a solar panel could be, but you actually have to place with the polygon fill here. And you can make your shapes however you want. Again, there's advantages and disadvantages, different size of shapes. Uh, and you connect it like that and you go there. So what's gonna happen is the rockets will build this part and the solar sails will be these parts. So what probably needs to happen is you need to unlock the Dyson sphere technology build these uh, basic structures and then build your components up and then build your solar panels. And that is basic Dyson Sphere 101. You can change the grid style and that just changes where you're clicking and locking to. But uh, it's definitely a little bit confusing on your first build. So you could build like this and this would start working as is, or you could go on the other side, um, which I actually just turbo to because of the auto save there, as my save file is getting a bit bigger and bigger and bigger. And there's no uh, requirement to build one way or the other. So you'd have this two piece there. So you'd have there and there building. And again, no requirement to go one way or the other. So now that you've unlocked the technology and you've set up your points and your component points to start building your Dyson Sphere, you'll notice your vertical launch silos will start launching their rockets up into space to build the component structure points for your Dyson Sphere and your solar sails will continue being fired off and they'll start being absorbed into your Dyson Sphere. Um, so if we were to go quickly look at our Dyson Sphere itself, I just on F11 here for a second and we pop out, pull out here for a sec 
You'll notice that you see these solar sails slowly being eaten up. We're not firing them very fast right now, but they're going to go into the little node points there and then become part of our structure. And that's really all there is to it to start building your very own Dyson Sphere. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it uh, did, throw a like on the video or a comment. Uh, tell me how you're enjoying your Dyson Sphere program. Because uh, I'm enjoying it very, very much. If you uh, found this video helpful, just throw a comment. Uh, like the video. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Hopefully you enjoy the game. Thanks for watching. And until next we meet. Ciao for now.